this chapter, we will see how to provision an Azure web app via the use of Terraform. So before that, let's go through how do you actually create an Azure web app. Now the Azure web app is a platform has a service that allows you to host your web applications. It has support for underlying frameworks such as .NET, .NET Core, PHP, etc. So if you want to deploy your application code, your web application code, you can deploy it onto the Azure web app service. Here the underlying compute infrastructure is completely managed for you. So in the case of Azure virtual machines, if you had to deploy a web application, we would first need to ensure that a web server is installed and then you can go ahead and deploy your web application. But in the case of an Azure web app, you can directly take your code and deploy it onto the Azure web app service. Now, in addition to deploying the Azure web app service, you also have to deploy an app service plan. So you need to have also an app service plan associated with an Azure web app. So first let's go on to Azure and let's deploy a simple Azure web app service. So here in the Azure portal, let me hit on create in all resources. I'll choose the web app service. Here I can choose an existing resource group that I have. I need to give a unique web app name. So if I just give a simple web app name, it will say it is not available. The web app will be appended with dot Azure websites.net. So we have to ensure that it is unique. In terms of the publish option, I believe it has code. In terms of the runtime stack here, you can see the supported programming languages. In this example, let me choose .NET 6. In terms of the region, we can go ahead and change the region. Here in the underlying OS, so this refers on to the operating system of the underlying compute machines that are going to be used for hosting the Azure web applications. I'll leave it as Windows. I can scroll down. Here in terms of the SKU and the size. So this is for the app service plan. So I said that along with the Azure web app, you need to have an app service plan also in place. And this wizard is going to create a new app service plan with this particular name. Currently, this is the SKU that it is allocating standard S1. We can click on change size. Here you will see different pricing tiers when it comes on to the app service plan. If you go on to the dev and test, you have the free app service plan. So has the name does imply this is completely free. If you are starting with an Azure free account, by default, you will only be able to use the free app service plan. But once you start using a pay as you go subscription, you can start using the other app service plans. When it comes on to the free app service plan, you have a limitation of only 60 minutes of compute per day. That means your web application can only run for a maximum duration of 60 minutes per day. Then you have the shared infrastructure, wherein again you have a limitation on the amount of compute per day and you have an estimate cost per month. And then we have the basic where we have, you know, much more features. We have dedicated compute infrastructure. So if I click on basic, you will have dedicated compute hardware for hosting your web applications. Let's go ahead and choose the free app service plan. I'll click on apply. I'll go on to next for deployment. I won't enable continuous deployment onto monitoring. I don't need application insights. This is for performance monitoring. Go on to review and create. And let me go ahead and hit on create. This will take around three to five minutes. Let's come back once you have the Azure web app in place.
Once the deployment is complete, I can go ahead on to the resource. Here I should be getting the fully qualified domain name, so the URL for the web app. I can copy it onto the clipboard. I can go on to a new tab. I can paste it in. So we'll have kind of a default page running up that just lets us know that our web app is up and running. Now let's go ahead and delete the resources and let's deploy an Azure web app by the use of Terraform. I'll hit on delete. Now when it comes on to deploying an app service, we're going to use Azure RM underscore app underscore service. If you scroll down, in addition to the deployment of the resource Azure RM app service, we also have the deployment of the app service plan. So I told you, you need to have an app service plan in place in addition to the app service itself. Here you will give what is the SKU. So based on the SKU, remember, you will have certain features allocated to you for the Azure Web App. At the same time, it also determines to a large extent on what would be the estimated cost per month. So it's pretty simple to go ahead and deploy the app service plan and the app service itself. Here we have some other settings in place. In this chapter, we won't touch upon these settings. Let's just go for the simple deployment of the app service plan and the web app. So I'll just copy this for the app service plan. In my configuration file, let me just scroll down and put the details of the app service plan. Please note that in terms of the version, so we now have the latest version as 2.96. So just using the latest version here in the providers, let me scroll down. Let me change the name. So just giving a name for the app service plan and ensuring that we have the resource group reference here for the location and the name. Now in terms of the SKU, I can use the free app service plan. So the tier is free and the size is F1. If you want to confirm actually in all resources, if I hit on create, we can also choose just the service of the app service plan. We can choose that. Hit on create, scroll down. In terms of the SKU and the size, I'll click on change size. If I go on to dev and test, so this is a free app service plan and it's F1. If you see additional options in the basic app service plan, you have B1, B2, B3. These plans have basically different amounts of memory and different amounts of compute units that can be assigned onto your Azure web applications. So we can leave it as the free app service plan tier. Next, let's copy the deployment of just our web app. Let me give a name here. And just give a name for the resource, the location and resource group name let's change that here and we just need to link the app service plan that we have here so i'll just copy this place it here so the id of the app service plan is being linked onto the azure web app and that's done let me save this new terminal let me do a terraform in it since I'm using a new provider two point basically new version of the provider 2.96 now before I actually create the plan let me go on to my existing resource group and let me delete the resource group and let me come back once the resource group is deleted so that it's completely managed from Terraform itself so once we don't have the resource group in place, here let me now create a plan. 
So now the plan should create three resources. One is our resource group, one is the app service plan, and the other is the Azure Web App. Let me now apply this plan. And let's come back once this is complete. Once this is complete, if I go on to all resources, hit on refresh, I can see my web app in place. Let me just take the URL. Go on to a new tab. And I should be seeing the default page in place. So in this video, just want to go through the deployment of an Azure web app and an app service plan via the use of Terraform.